the world was given an unprecedented insight into the world of the royals as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge entertained the Barack Obama inside a Kensington Palace drawing room, which was seen for the first time since being refurbished. Its design was more reminiscent of a comfortable country home than a grand, palatial lounge, with floral cushions adorning comfortable-looking cream sofas, on the grand black piano sitting behind William and Mr. Obama, who looked at ease in each other's company, were intimate family photos and an elaborate bouquet. One of the pictures appeared to be a black-and-white shot of Kate looking ethereal in white on her wedding day, another seemed to be a family photo in front of the pyramids. The framed photos gracing an ornate table near the windows were rather more iconic. One appeared to show a blonde-haired, baby-faced Prince William in his teenage years, one of the many shots that drew comparisons to his mother's looks. Beside it was what looks like an unforgettable image taken by controversial fashion photographer Mario Testino, showing the late Princess Diana playing with her two beloved sons in a flower garden in 1988. There was also a picture of akin to the Duke of Cambridge's in-laws. Carol and Michael Middleton, attending the 2011 royal wedding, Kate's mother Carol looked glamorous in a sky-blue Catherine Walker outfit after, apparently refusing to wear her specially designed Lynn Gasserick outfit at the last minute. Sitting on the side table beside the prince and the former president, deep in discussion about the anti-poaching and conservation issues they hold dear, was a black-and-white wildlife book by world-renowned photographer Nick Brandt, Brandt's regal and mysterious book entitled On This Earth, A Shadow Falls, is said to capture the vanishing grandeur of the vanishing beauty of East Africa with widescreen panoramic shots of majestic animals and landscapes. In what could be gracious appreciation of the Obama's friendship, the room also contained to items the former president had presented to little Prince George in the past. The former president and his family sent the newborn Prince George a stunning handmade rocking horse as well as a blanket made from the finest alpaca wool to celebrate his birth in 2013. The other two shots show George proudly riding his fabulous gift as his mother, the Duchess of Cambridge, wearing a 325 pounds LK Bennett dress, bends down to talk to him, before clapping her hands in delight, sporting a saddle embossed with the presidential seal. The wooden rocking horse came with a polo mallet with a head made from the branch of an oak tree that once stood on the south lawn of the White House. The fluffy toy dog lying on the hexagonal footstool in the middle of the room was a replica of the Obama family dog, Bo, a Portuguese water dog, also gifted to Prince George from the former president. Intriguingly, the royals displayed their thrifty side with their choice of drawing room alcohol. On the couple's drinks tray in the corner of the elegantly decorated room was a 70 centiliters bottle of Smirnoff vodka worth 12 pounds, a bottle of Gordon's gin costing 14 pounds and various mixers. Kate had the help of an interior designer for the drawing room room, one of 22 inside the couple's private apartment which once belonged to Princess Margaret, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Obamas and Prince Harry posed for photos on the steps of the royal residence before heading inside for drinks. As staff opened the black double doors, the group walked into a cream-colored hallway where another guest stood in the distance to greet the visitors, Prince George. The two-year-old prince could briefly be seen standing inside watching their guests come inside from the rain. Adorable photos show the former president kneeling down to greet the little prince, who is wearing a My First Year's dressing gown worth 27 pounds. Princess Charlotte was sound asleep during the visit. With British snappers unfortunately barred from the exclusive event, the rare pictures were taken by Kensington Palace and a White House photographers.